Hello everybody, welcome to my stream, Elk Simulator Part 1. This is from all kinds of simulations. And you can uh, you can do all kinds of custom up and down buttons, gear selection up and down, and L this is your rangefinder, L2 place calls that you have selected in the gear selection. The map is options, raise and lower your rifle, R1. R2 is fire the gun, shoot bow. Guide interaction triangle, exit play level, release draw, confirm, and reload a square. Look around as your right analog three, and L3 is movement. So, yeah, and camo and guide. You can customize them too if you like. Push up and down to acquire things. Now, there is three uh, targets that you can uh, equip. Just push up and highlight the, a rifle, then push down and you can access this. Now there's three trophies in each for the rifle, the 30-30 and the bow. You can simply come up to him and hit triangle. So you got to be 200. Ranges reset. Ranges reset. Now I found that if you come back here to this tree, let me say something to you, but you tap R1 and you bring up your uh, range front. That looks a lot, lot like 200 yards. It's 228 actually, so you can probably come up a little bit more. So you don't have to quite be back here to this tree. So that'll be good right here. So just bring your gun up. You can click L1 and it'll go away. You can go like this. Uh, you can hit your R1, bring your rifle up. And just slowly move your. They're a little skittish on the controls, I, and I didn't hit him, as you can see. Just let the let the scope kind of move over a little bit. Sometimes it's a little difficult. I think I hit it. No? Now when he gives that fist pump, that means you got you got it. That missed. Can't believe I missed. Time reset. Ready to shoot. Of course, he'll tell you so. And of course, you can always reset it again. That's all you gotta do is hit three consecutive targets at two, 200 meters, is all you gotta do. So, as you can see. They're pretty decent. So there it is. Okay. Now on the rifle, it's only a hundred meters, so you don't have to be so uh, you don't have to be so far away. Just scroll right in there and do that. <clears throat> you 
you can always have him reset the targets. All you gotta do is kind of like bring your rifle, bring your rangefinder up. Yeah, I always put it on one of these targets or close to it. The aiming system is just a little bit juky. What I mean by that, it's a little bit tough to aim. It's not very forgiving. The uh, aiming, the aiming system is not very forgiving. So you'll just have to do the best you can. So back up a couple, maybe one more. All right, what? Well, that should be it. 30, 30, 30, marksman so that seems pretty easy. Bring up your rifle. Now this gun, you see the top of your sight. You want your sight. Like, you want it right on. Not, not right on, right on. Now here's where it gets a little bit tedious. Is getting it right on. See that was a little bit high. Now since him's a little further away, now you're not going to be able to do this out in the wild. And he'll usually say good shooting, so that's all you gotta do. Hit three targets from 100 yards with that. And you can uh, just load it back up. Hit circle. And now if you want to do the bow, uh, is which my, is my thing. I like the bow. I'm just a big fan of the bow. Now when you un do that with the three with the rifle, you get to unlock things. You unlock specialty equipment. Even with the 30-30 and the bow. Now the bow is pretty easy. Uh, all you gotta do is be 50 feet away, which you know, 67 Moel. So, whoa. All right, that's good enough. Hold R2 down. Uh, just bring it right up there. The bow is probably the easier thing to aim. It's just getting it up just right. See, he said bullseye. That's all that matters. As long as he says bullseye, you're good. See, bullseye. All I gotta do is do that three times and, uh, That's all you gotta do, three times and you get the trophy. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see how far these targets are here. So it's 46 yards. He didn't say nothing, so. You know that wasn't no good. <laughs> and on top of the target. I just think the, the only thing I have, the only thing I have is the, uh, the, uh, the aiming system is just a little bit too hard. So you can see that that was pretty low.
This should have been bullseye. Looks like it's a little bit to the left. Let's see, that's what you gotta do. The three bullseyes. So I got that on target. Now, good shooting could be classified as uh, a miss. So there it is, bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. Right in there. So in other words, when you uh, you pull back your bow, you want your bow to be kind of off, you know, to be in the bullseye marker. You don't want the end of the pin to be right in there. You want it to be off to the si side a little bit. So, you know. You know, like this. You don't want the pin to be right in the middle. See, see how it's shooting to the right? It's good too to just keep practicing. They kill an elk. Do 
want to do is let it go up higher. shot there. Alright. That's part of Elk Simulator. We'll back out as soon as we get back in. I'm just trying to set it up with rifle. want to set up the season with a rifle and for some reason it don't want me to do that so anyhow we'll, we'll probably do that next time I'll try to figure that out thanks for watching everybody we'll be back next time I promise with a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, hunting and so forth so Thank you for watching Elk Simulator Part 1. Next time we'll be back to hunt some elk.